Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing the first of, <laughs> I guess, two haul videos, which will probably be very long videos. But this one is, well, there. this is a collective haul, <laughs> first of all, of things that I've accumulated since probably October. So this includes like my birthday, the Sephora VIB sales, because there were two this year. Um, I don't know if I got any Black Friday deals, probably not. Um, Boxing Day, Christmas, <laughs> everything. So yeah, not to make this too long, I guess I'll just get started. So you will have already seen a drugstore try on haul. So those products like that it was also a haul I guess, but I've already tried those so I'm not going to rehaul all of those things, but I will talk about a few things that I picked up recently. But I also have my Boxy Lux from December and a few indie brand hauls, which I'm very excited about. So let's just jump into this. Um, by the way, Happy New Year. It is January 2nd, I think, when I'm filming this. Um, I still have my Christmas tree in here. Uh, so yeah, but I usually keep my tree up like probably next weekend I'll take it down. But yeah, if you're someone that takes down your tree like on Boxing Day, you might be like, why do you still have Christmas? But anyway, yes, let's let's start with Boxy Lux. So, because I honestly haven't even had time to like sit down and look at these things that I've bought. <laughs> so this will be a fun like show and tell for me also to remind myself what I even have. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking at the, the card that came in the Boxy Lux, and the first thing is the Herbivore Botanicals Cloud Jelly Serum, which retails for $40 US. Um, I'm actually very excited about this. So this is from the brand Herbivore, like I said, and it's a vegan collagen and trimella plumping hydration serum. So definitely something I will use. This is the packaging, which looks very cute. So I'll show you the inside. I have looked at this product a few times on the Sephora app, because this is something um, you can get at Sephora, I believe. You still can when I'm filming this, but it's just a really cute packaging. It reminds me a lot though of the Glow Recipe serum plumping serum thing so I never purchased it because I also have that product that I got from BoxyCharm still in the box so yeah now I also have this one but this will obviously go with my skincare the glow recipe one I'm putting in my primer category because I plan to use it under makeup but this one seems to be really something I'll use for skincare exclusively it says um, directions, AM and PM, press two to three drops gently onto your face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Okay, so I'm hoping I like this. This is a very expensive brand. Um, so always fun to get, you know, more luxury items in the boxy luxe because that's supposed to be the point of it. Some months, um, it's not as good, but yeah, that one was a great thing to get. Then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills face palette, this one here. So these came out a while ago. I have the, I guess the shade is Italian Summer, but it's a three pan face palette and it looks like this. And these are the shades. So definitely I have things like this in my collection already, but I'm really happy that I got this one that is clearly meant for like fair to light skin tones probably. 
So there's a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And I'm very excited to try this. I don't, I don't think these got like the best reviews when they came out because honestly, no one really talked about them. <laughs> but yeah, I have this, and I'm gonna keep it. And this retails for 58 US, so kind of expensive. And then I got the Mali Beauty Best Dressed Lids, Neutrals and Bolds, 14 Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I think this is the product that I chose, if I'm not mistaken, because they give you, I think, one or two choices, and I think I chose this. Yes, it's, as it says, a Neutrals and Bolds eyeshadow palette. I don't know anything about this brand. I don't know where you can buy it. I haven't seen it anywhere in Canada. But this is the packaging. It's quite like a long palette. Whoa. And these are the shades. This looks like the Anastasia the new palette that just came out. Not the new, the rose metals, the one before that. Um, I have no idea what it's called. I think I'm gonna haul it soon, or I have already. I don't know, I'm so confused. <laughs> but this is the palette. Um, it's a little shimmer heavy, I feel, for my preferences. There's only, from what I can tell, two mattes, because this one could be a matte, but I think there's shimmer in it. Or it might just be shimmer from other shades that got into it. But yeah, the only two mattes are this one, Date Night, and this one, Book Club. So yeah, we'll see. But I do, I mean, I like how it looks. I did buy that Anastasia palette, which I feel looks quite similar, at least this part of it. So yes, another eyeshadow palette in my collection. I definitely need to do an eyeshadow palette declutter because it's getting a little out of hand. And that retails for $45. Then I got another Keys Soul Care product. I was really excited about the last one I got from BoxyCharm because it was the illuminating primer, I guess. Um, but this one is a mask. So this is the Harmony Mask with Manuka Honey and Charcoal, which I have so many masks and I never use them. And that's something I'm gonna do in the new year is use my face masks because I don't know why I just don't touch them. I love the idea of a mask, but I just, I don't know, I guess because it's too much work, like you gotta, you know, wash your face, then put the mask on, apply it with an applicator because I don't like doing it with my fingers, then the rest of your skincare. So it, it just like prolongs my skincare routine and I'm already like lazy enough with my skincare. But anyway, this is the packaging. It's a nice like glass jar and it is a black mask. Well, like a charcoal, you know, kind of thing. It smells nice. I do like these kind of masks. Like whenever I'm getting, like I feel like my pores are getting clogged or I have breakouts, I like like clay masks, charcoal masks. I like the idea of that, but I just need to use them. But I am happy to have this. I don't, have you guys tried um, Keys? soul care products I don't know if the brand is doing too well because like all of their stuff is on sale at Sephora and um, they're like coming in boxy charms all the time so I don't know what that means but let me know I haven't heard anything about this product but I'm happy to have it that is $30 the next product is by Euphoria it's the Bio Blush. Apparently this is award winning. It's $36. And it's one of those like 
pH balancing whatever kind of product. So when I first opened this, I was like, oh God, what is that? Because <laughs> it's like a green liquid. Um, but this is actually a blush. So I am kind of intrigued by this. I'm sure it's just going to turn to like that standard shade of pink that all products like this turn to. But I do like a pink blush, so I might like this. I don't know. Um, I feel like that is quite pricey for, um, you know, this kind of product, $36, but it's a blush oil, that's what it says on the back, and it's called, the shade is called Chemical Reaction. It is made in Korea though, so, I don't know, anytime something is made in Korea, it's good for makeup. <laughs> um, yes. So I am kind of excited about this, but also kind of like, oh, it's very gimmicky, but I don't know, it could be fun. And it's like a lip gloss applicator, so we'll see how that goes. It's supposed to be universally, universally flattering. So we'll see about that. Dab two dots on each cheek and blend with brush. Let me know if you guys want me to try that on camera. Because, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like it could go badly. Anyway, moving on, I got a Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. So it's the red one. Um, at first I was like, do I have that already? But I do have one of these, but it's the coral shade. So I'm actually quite happy about this because I love red lipsticks although I don't wear them often on my channel but in real life I wear them well I used to <laughs> I used to only wear red lipstick honestly but since you know having a big makeup collection and trying new things I don't often reach for my red lipsticks anymore but this one I'm happy to have it I know this is like a popular product and I do remember liking the formula of this in the one that I have already. So I have another one of these and these are $26. I'm just telling you the price cause it's on the paper and um, just so you get an idea of like the price of things that come in the boxy lux. So one of those and next I have the Dear Midnight Set to Last Setting Spray. This is a new launch, it says. I haven't heard of the brand Dear Midnight ever before, but it looks like this. Another setting spray in my collection. So this says, shake thoroughly and close your eyes prior to using. Hold the bottle eight to 10 inches away from your face and mist two to four times in an X pattern. For best results, apply before and after your finished makeup look. So as the name suggests, the set to last setting spray, I'm assuming this is a like fixing setting spray, which I don't often go for, but the packaging's cute. It's just plastic, but it has like nice celestial theme. So we'll see about this. Um, oh, I do kind of like this kind of spray. Let me just... Oh, I might like this, actually. Um, I already have a setting spray that I'm trying today, so that's why I didn't put it on my face, but... Okay, this could be good. Because um, it's one of those like fine misters that kind of... supposed to coat your face instead of like spraying a stream directly at you, which is the one I will mention in a few minutes. So yeah, this setting spray. Haven't heard anything about this, but I'll try it. And then the last product is the Dew of the Gods, the Weekend Glow Challenge. So it's a sheet mask um, set. It's two masks, but I kind of found this like a good idea because it's called the weekend challenge and it says on the back like on saturday what it is and then sunday 
so that's kind of cute like this would actually be something that would force me to use um, my masks because I'd be like oh it's a challenge I have to do it <laughs> that's just how my brain works so yeah there's one for Saturday and one for Sunday the Saturday one says it's a cold elixir made from squalene and citrus extract designed to hydrate, tone, and restore bounce to your skin. And then Sunday's is a restorative and preventative skin cocktail formulated with retinol and hyaluronic acid to heal and repair. Hmm, this might be good. I do like sheet masks. Before when I was saying I never use my mask, I meant like these kind of masks and jars. Sheet masks I do use because they're easy to use. Um, so yeah, this I will definitely use this. So that was my boxy lux. That was everything in there. Um, so a pretty good month I feel. There are a lot of things like from brands I've never heard of, but then there's also brands like I know I like, like Fenty, Anastasia, Herbivore. Is supposed to be very good. I haven't tried it myself, but you know. So. Not bad. At least I didn't get any duplicates like I have before. Okay, I have this candle going. Um, I think it's giving me a headache, so I'm gonna blow it out. It's um, this spiced gingerbread from Bath and Body Works. It's very old, like three, three or four years old, or maybe more. Um, it's way too strong to have in this small room. Okay, so moving on, I did just do a drugstore haul, try-on haul. There's a few other things that I wanted to mention. Um, I just picked this up, the Frenchie Awaken and Uplift Citrus Amber Hair Body and Linen Mist. I'm wearing it right now, and I like it. It's almost like too, too fragrant for a mist, if that makes sense. But it is for your hair and it could also be for your linen. So I'm gonna try it in different ways. But on my skin, it's a little too strong. I don't know. I thought I would like it more than I do, but yeah. I do still want to try the other scents in, from this brand um, because they just look really nice. The packaging, I got this at Target if you're wondering. I think it's exclusive to Target. I could be wrong. But that's just a little update on that if you saw my drugstore try on haul video. Um, I also tried this in that video, the NYX Plump Right Back plumping serum and primer and the NYX plump finish setting spray so the primer um I have to try it some more I'm wearing it right now I did like how it felt um my skin I guess it kind of does feel plumped like it doesn't feel dry which is good but this setting spray um if you saw that video it was way too wet so I'm going to try it again using it very far away. Um, you can also use it alone, which would make more sense to me with like for this kind of application. But yeah, that's just my, you know, quick review on those two products, but have to use both more to get a full, a full picture. I don't know what I'm trying to say. And um, I also got this lip balm in my stocking for Christmas, the Burt's Bees Cucumber Mint Moisturizing Lip Balm. I love the Burt's Bees lip balms. I'm trying to finish the honey one, which is like the same line, I guess, but the honey scent, um, it's in my purse. And they last forever. There's so much like product in these and they actually work. I feel so very excited about this cucumber mint one that sounds good so that was everything from the drugstore yeah the other stuff you will have seen in that video like I said and that's basically all stuff that I bought like in the summer or even earlier so not very relevant right now I suppose so I guess I'll move on my battery's gonna die 
so I'll change my battery and I'll be back. Okay, so moving on. This was like an impulse buy um, that I saw on Instagram because Chen Mood posted about it and I was like, I have to have something from that collection. So this was from the Shu Amora Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collection. They did like a whole, like they did eyeshadow palettes, um, some other stuff, but I only really could justify buying some of the lip products because I don't know I don't know anything about the Shu Amora eyeshadow formula so I was kind of scared to go for it because it was not like very affordable <laughs> I mean is that the right word like it wasn't like something I would just you know oh yes let me just buy that and I didn't want to buy it just because it was Sailor Moon basically but I did really like the idea of these lip products, so I got um, two, but they're two different formulas. So I got the Rouge Unlimited Kinu Satin Lipstick, I guess that's what it's called, in the shade Dream Rust. So this is what it looks like. Very cute. Um, it is just like plastic but it feels nice like it feels I don't know more of like a high-end kind of plastic <laughs> but look at the shape of this bullet doesn't it look cool so yeah I'm just I just really think this will be a good shade for every day it kind of looks exactly like what I'm wearing right now which was the Maybelline Vinyl Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade Peachy. So yeah, I'm hoping I'll like this shade. I don't know anything about this formula, but it just sounded good. And I just loved the packaging of this with the Sailor Moon on it. So I got one of those. Oh, and also I think there was like some kind of sale or a deal when I bought these or I had a code or something so that's why I bought them also. This one is called the Rouge Unlimited Amplified Lacquer Lipstick. So this one was what? The Kinu Satin Lipstick and this is Amplified Lacquer. I don't know the difference. And this one is the shade Mauve Flash. So it's the same um, design but this is like a slimmer tube and this one has this kind of applicator which leads me to believe this will be more of like an emollient formula because it's in one of these kind of things where it hugs the bullet if that makes sense um but yeah i'm excited about this let me swatch these because they actually look quite similar. <laughs> yeah, this one definitely is like an emollient, balmy kind of lipstick. And then the satin lipstick. Oh, but that feels very smooth also. So, I don't know. They are definitely different. That was the Mo Flash and this is the Dream Rest shade. They both feel really nice. So, I will keep you posted on those whenever I get a chance to use them. So now I have some products from Lethal Cosmetics, which is very exciting because I've never tried this brand before. But I bought this because Teresa is Dead released a second collab with the brand. Um, this one is the Teresa is Lethal eyeshadow palette well pressed powder palette and I watched her video on this and I just really thought it looked fun and unique to my collection so these are the shades very excited about this um, and they're all like kind of like space themed and yeah I just thought this was a good palette to get because I really like watching her 
videos, especially her new makeup nonsense videos. I always watch those. And yeah, I just wanted to try this brand also because it sounds fun. <laughs> so those are the shades. I haven't tried it yet, obviously, so I don't have any review to give you, but I am very excited to use this. I think I need to swatch this blue space trash because it looks very dimensional in real life, like with different colors. Sparkles. Oh yeah. I don't know how well. Well, my lights are very bright today, but can you see that? <gasps> There's like a, is there a pink? shimmer in this i don't know it's been so long since this launched i don't remember how she described the shades but i am very excited to use this and the mattes look very like fun and unique like look at those two yes very excited about this and of course i couldn't just buy one thing <laughs> Um, cause I wanted free shipping and also there was sale going on. So I also bought, I just wiped these, the swatch away, but I also got two other things because they were on sale and because I wanted free shipping, I think. So I got the, okay, this is like not labeled because this is actually a collection of single eyeshadows, but I want to say it was called hive mind something hive i don't know but look at this i just cannot resist this color story i feel like it's more maybe fallish well aside from this blue maybe <laughs> if you cover this blue it's a fall theme palette i feel but yeah i just wanted to try more from the brand and i think this was like a good price and i just went for it so, oh, and these all came like as single eyeshadows and then they gave you this palette to put them in. So I put them all in the order of how they were, well, it would look more like this, of how they were on the website. So that's the Hive Mind collection, I want to say. I'm not sure, but yes, I also got this because... I needed to try more and then I believe I was very close to getting free shipping so I just wanted to add something in because I, I hate paying for shipping when you can just get something for the same if not less and then you actually have a product which is what happened with this. I think this was only like $8 but I also got a Lumen lip gloss. Is the shade Lumen or is it called Lumen? Yeah, it's a Lumen lip gloss in the shade Nova and it just looked like a pretty nude shade that I would wear. So that's the shade here. I don't think it smells like anything, but it feels really nice, like almost like a lip oil. So that's the shade and I'm very excited about this. Not that I needed more lip gloss, but yeah. So now I have three products from Lethal Cosmetics to try, so yeah, I guess I'll just try them, you know, in a shop my stash or something because, I mean, I'm not even sure if you can get any of those anymore because <laughs> it's been so long, so I won't do a whole, like, dedicated video on that. Um, so keeping on with indie makeup, I also made an Odin's Eye order. And I intended to use this for Christmas, but I, of course, did not have time. Um, but I did get the Christmas Eve palette and the Christmas palette, I guess. And each palette comes with its own little, like, charm, like, keychain thing. But it's so cute. Like, it's, you can, you can use it as an ornament, too. But it has, like, a clasp in the star that you could put on keychain or on a bag even so and they're little snow globes and they have little moving parts inside so i thought those were so cute 
And this is the Christmas one. So, are they the same? Mm, yeah, they have, they're just different colors, but very cute. So, if you bought like just the Christmas Eve palette, you would just get the blue one. The Christmas palette, you'd get the red one. You get the idea. But of course, I bought both because I'm crazy. So, I heard that this is sold out and obviously was limited edition, but I'll show you anyway because it's just a work of art. <laughs> so this is the Christmas Eve palette. It's in a sleeve, but it, the actual palette has the same artwork on it. And on the back you have all the shade names. But look at this, it's stunning. I am just loving I think you can see a theme here with these like, I don't even know what to call them. These like indigo blues and this like blue gray. I'm just really loving right now. And this blue, which looks very bright on camera, but it's more, it's darker in person. I don't know what to call it, <laughs> but it's, this is just beautiful. I feel like this is so unique to my collection also, this color story. I'm just very excited about it. And I was going to use this on Christmas Eve, but I didn't have time because I actually hosted Christmas Eve this year, so I was too busy cooking and whatnot, but I really wanted to use this. So oh, there's always next year. And I don't have any other Christmas Eve palettes, which is a very specific theme, so yeah. Very happy to have this. I love this yellow down here too. So I'm very excited to use this. I won't go into super detail because I don't think you can get it anymore, but I wanted to show you that I have this. I also have, okay, this one is not called Christmas. It's called Merry Christmas. The Merry Christmas palette. Sorry. So this one, is a red themed. It looks like this. This one is also just beautiful and not like anything else I have. Look at this. That's beautiful. I love how it's like actually Christmas, like green and red, but somehow it looks good. Like normally I would not gravitate towards a green and red palette because I don't, those aren't colors I would wear together. But in this palette, it just makes them look beautiful because it makes it like you you have this like it's almost like you have two palettes in one like this more greeny one and then this red. I just think it's beautiful. I'm very excited to try this. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried my other Odin's Eye eyeshadow palettes yet so I honestly can't give you any more details on that which is sad because I've got so many of them when I bought the, the I think it was the Easter mystery box I haven't used them yet but somehow I bought two more <laughs> so I don't know I just can't resist and I saw they just released single eyeshadows I don't know if you can buy them in palettes um, because I, I don't think I would buy single eyeshadows separately, which is why I bought the Lethal Cosmetics palette, because it came as a palette, like you could arrange them um, in the way that they showed on the website. And I like that better because I don't have like empty magnetic palettes and I already have so many eyeshadow palettes that I haven't used yet. So why would I buy singles and then have to figure out how to put them together, you know? So I don't know. But if you're wondering, that's their new release um, from Odin's Eye. But I'm very happy about it. my purchase. Oh, and there was a little note. See, I have so much makeup I don't even have time to use and I would have loved to use this for Christmas. But anyway, there's next year. So that is actually it for this part of my haul because if I put everything we'd be here for three hours. So my next haul will be all the 
stuff I got from Sephora. So this was like just random, but then I'll have exclusively Sephora purchases in my next haul. So I hope you like haul videos because <laughs> I guess there's going to be three in a row. Um, but then we'll move on to hopefully more of like my regular videos. I need to do a new Shop My Stash for the new year. I need to um, update my old projects and yeah then it'll be time to start new ones so yeah but i hope you like this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye